Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at EBIT versus operating profit or operating income. What do we mean by EBIT? We mean the earnings before interest and tax. What is the difference between earnings before interest and tax and operating profit or operating income? In simple terms, EBIT being earnings before interest and tax is the income before the deduction of interest expense and tax expense. This also includes other non-operating income. Okay, so when you look at earnings before interest and tax, it includes non-operating income, if you have any, okay, any other non-operating income. So it, in simple terms, it is before you deduct the interest expense and the tax expense, and then you arrive at the net profit, okay? So it's before you make those deductions. The only thing that you have not deducted is the interest expense and the tax expense to arrive at the net profit profit that is earnings before interest and tax operating profit on the other hand is the earnings specifically from operations of the business and what do we mean by operations of the business we mean the usual income and expenses of the business okay and we're going to look at examples to show you how this look like okay in the income statement or the statement of comprehensive income so we are saying that earnings before interest and tax is just before you deduct your interest expense and your tax expense but on the other hand, operating profit, we're only talking about the income and expenses from operations of the business. Okay, we are talking about the earnings from operations of the business, the usual income and expenses of the business. Okay, so the incomes that you'll see or the income that fall part of the operating profit. When we're arriving at the operating profit, we've deducted some expenses, we've added some income. Those income only pertain to the operations, as we've just said. But when, we talk, when we're talking about earnings before interest and tax, it may include other income which does not pertain to your usual operations. And you'll see now with the help of some examples. Okay, so that's the difference between the two. Okay, so operating profit would usually come first and then earnings before interest and tax would come later. According to GAAP or the generally accepted accounting principles, EBIT or earnings before interest and tax is a non-official financial measure while operating income or operating profit is an official financial measure okay so according to gap EBIT or earnings before interest and tax is not an official one so you'll see in some financial statements or in many financial statements you will not see the word EBIT or earnings before interest and tax okay so some companies may choose to isolate that one others may choose to put it but operating income or operating profit is an official measure according to GAAP, okay? So you'll see it in many of the financial statements, okay? They may not specifically call it operating income or operating profit, but you will understand what it is when you see it, okay? So those are the differences between the two. So let's get into it and see some examples. Here's the first example. Remember, earnings before interest in tax and operating profit are both found in the income statement or the statement of comprehensive income, okay? It's not found in any of the other statements, okay? So let's see, where is the operating profit? As you can see there, our operating profit is right here, just after the deduction of operating expenses. And that's why others would say, for you to arrive at operating profit, you would take the gross profit minus the operating expenses, and then you arrive at the operating profit, okay? So it's the gross profit minus the operating expenses, and it will give you the operating profit. And what you can see here, before we arrive at the operating profit, we've taken the gross profit and we have deducted the operating expenses. And you can see these are the usual expenses that the company would pay, salaries, water and electricity, and sanitation, repairs and maintenance, and so forth. And that's why you see these dots here. We didn't put the rest of the expenses. What, what we mean here is that the operating profit is the profit from operations, okay? The income and expenses from operations are taken into account to see what the profit for that period is, okay? So it's only the income and expenses from operation. And where is EBIT? Well, you can see there is EBIT down here. What's the difference between operating profit and EBIT? How do we how do we get the uh, how do we get from operating profit to EBIT? Well, you can see here we have a non-operating income of interest income. Okay, interest income is non-operating income from this company specifically. Okay, interest income can be an operating income for a company that usually lends money to others or usually uh, gives money to someone on credit so that they pay interest on those income. If that's their usual course of business, then interest income would fall part of the operating income somewhere here. 
but in this case for this specific company and usually for many companies that you'll see they will isolate the interest income after taking into account the operating profit so the interest income is an income that is earned outside the usual operations of the business that is why we see it after the operating profit okay and then for us to arrive at the earnings before interest and tax you can see here also depreciation now depreciation will be different between companies and between industries okay for a company that heavily invests in fixed assets or non-current assets and has very huge amounts of non-current assets it should have a significant amount of depreciation that means that they will want to see it in isolation how much the depreciation is because if they include it here as part of the operating expenses it might inflate the expenses okay while we know that the depreciation might be a significant figure but here they have taken it out and put it here right before the earnings before interest and tax okay so you can see here earnings before interest and tax what is the difference between earnings before interest and tax and the net profit you can see the only things in between is your finance cost which is another word for interest expense as well as income tax okay so you can see it's called earnings before interest which is the finance cost and tax which is the income tax expense of expense over there okay and that is how you arrive at the net profit so in simple terms earnings before interest and tax is the the only thing that it has left out before arriving at the net profit is the finance cost and the income tax operating profit the only thing that it has left out is no other non-operating income okay other non-operating income and other expenses like the finance cost and income tax obviously and any other non-operating income like i said which is the interest expense as an example over there the depreciation some might leave it out of operating profit like i said if you have invested a lot of money in fixed assets but some might include it as operating expenses before you arrive at the operating profit so i hope that has made sense let me show you another financial statement this one is from edcon get the company edcon here it's got its financial statements from total revenues all the way until profit or loss for the period okay and let's focus here on 2017 where is the operating profit if you try and identify it where is the operating profit remember we said for you to arrive at the operating profit you take the gross profit minus operating expenses for you to arrive at the operating profit and if you guessed the trading profit you would be correct that should be the operating profit of the business and then you can see what happens after operating profit you have derivative gains foreign exchange gains so this is not what the company does in its course of business okay these are just some of the expenses and incomes that are coming in as a result of all these elements that they're talking about here net gain on restructuring gain on disposal of legit business okay they don't do this in their course of business okay they don't uh, they don't dispose of, of of other businesses as a business in itself okay net gain on restructuring they don't do any restructuring as their usual course of business okay so you can see some many of these would be a once of incomes and expenses or or it would occur in a very short period before they uh, before they go back into normal operations and you can see here before we arrive at the trading profit or operating profit you can see this would be their usual and you'll see these expenses every time you look at their income statements okay or most times that you will look at their income statement okay so you can see here operating profit is the profit after taking into account the operating expenses and obviously the gen uh, the gross profit which is added gross profit minus operating expenses you get the operating profit but the earnings before interest and tax is all your income and expenses and the only thing which is not included is your finance cost or your interest expense and your tax so if you try and identify it here where is the earnings before interest and tax well they don't use that term in this financial statement as you can see you will not be you will not see those specific words but here it is it's the profit before finance costs okay how do i know that well you can see it does not include finance cost or the interest expense as well as taxation it doesn't include it so we know that the earnings before interest and tax the earnings before interest and tax does include finance income or interest income there is a very common questions that students would usually ask does EBIT or earnings before interest and tax usually include interest income yes it does and you can see just before EBIT or earnings before interest and tax you have finance income which is the interest income that the company has earned okay remember this is this company does not do business of lending money to others and getting an interest income okay so it's not an operating income okay so it's other income and that is why it goes way after the operating profit i hope it has made sense 
I hope you are able to identify and know the difference between operating profit and earnings before interest and tax. Remember, operating profit is the earnings that pertains to the usual course of business or the profits that are made or the earnings that are made in the usual course of business of the company. EBIT or earnings before interest and tax is all the income and expenses taken into account with the exception of interest expense or the finance cost and taxation. Or in other words, to put it, in, it includes other income which are not operating. It includes other non-operating income as well. Okay, I hope these examples have highlighted these two elements, operating profit and earnings before interest and tax. And if you have any questions or any queries with regards to this lesson, you can leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, if you have gained value from this lesson, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it to those you think it might help. Till next time, cheers.